Kofi D, the I Quit Challenge match later in the show, and Jim Cornette is in the house wait again. Wait, 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 that is wait. the ugliest looking city I've ever seen in my life. That stinking shot of this crummy redneck one horse town. Then leave. I would, I'd love to leave, and I'm going to leave right after this this uh, event tonight at the New Daisy, I can assure you, on the first thing smoking, but there's a couple of things I want to do. First of all, I realize we were on a half an hour early this morning. I know a lot of people in Memphis aren't smart enough to be able to read their clock, probably can't figure out how to turn their TV on, so you might have missed some of the program. I know that these announcers are incapable of recapping the program to show you what you've missed, so since I, in addition to my other talents and capabilities, am also a professional announcer, I figured I would come out here and tell you what the highlight of the show has been. You know what the highlight of the show has been? When you left last time, yeah. When you left. Bradley, Kolka, Tierney, we're the highlights all the time. You know what another highlight was? I'll tell you. It was when we put that stinking Olympian Kurt Angle on ice. Can we see that again? Do we have a shot? I'd love to see that tape again. No, have I don't. We no. no, we I don't. Well, that's bigger, every time I because think about the it. announcer's probably still hung over from crawling down the gutter in Beale Street last night. The director and the producer and everybody back there in the control room are obviously all hung over. But I'll guarantee you this, it's going to be a big night tonight at the New Daisy because Brandon Baxter, let's say I take you at your word. Let's say that Kurt Angle is going to be there tonight. It's going to be a marathon match. That means whoever wins the most falls in 30 minutes, Steve Bradley or Kurt Angle, is going to be the Power Pro champion. I got news for you. This man can go all night and then some. Just ask your sister, Angle, and I'm going to tell you something else. By the time he gets finished with you this time, Angle, you are going to rue the day that you ever left those pansy Olympics and came into a man sport like professional wrestling. That's what's going to happen tonight. Kurt, Kurt Angle can take care of himself, I guarantee you, down at he the New Daisy. He has to take care of himself because hey. no female will touch him. Hey, Jimmy, Jimmy, you're forgetting one thing. What, what? There, there also seems to be another problem about tonight. What? You know, we got this main event, Kurt Angle and Steve Bradley, the marathon, but poor Brandon Baxter apparently... He's going to be short a semi-main event because if, if Mick Tierney and Wolfie D get in there today, Wolfie D's not going to be able to make it tonight because Mick right. Tierney, he is a deadly assassin. He will cripple Wolfie D. He will have him injured to where he probably won't even be able to walk out of the studio. So there you go. Away. So there you go, Baxter. You got no semi-final either, so you better get started getting on the phone, calling up your drunk friends and try to book some matches, pal. Come on now, Wolfie D's going to be crippled to it right now. Steve Bradley needs to do what Steve Bradley does best, and that's show the world what professional wrestling's all about and what a real athlete looks like. Well, let's get him in the ring right now, as a matter of fact. Quit running your mouth out here. We've seen far too much of you today. We thought we had Cornette somewhat under control with Corey in charge of the company, but Corey's just hard to, uh, it's hard to get the microphone away from James oh, Cornette. Oh, you're telling me, man, I'm telling you, this guy is something. I hear the music. It sounds like the slick stuff. Slick Robbie D is in the house. There he is, and he's got his hands full today. He's got the Power Pro champion, Steve Bradley, for our next action coming up on the Power Hour. We're on uh, 30 minutes early today, but guess what? We're back at a regular time next week. And man, yes, indeed. Wait. We'll be back at our regular time for several weeks until the end of September when we have another uh, another schedule change, but we'll tell you about that in the weeks ahead. The bell's down and Bradley. Hell to Robbie D. Right in the back of uh, the head there. And man, he puts it on him. Into the turnbuckle he goes. Robbie comes out of there. Whips him to the other side. Look at this. Man, flip off the top rope. Nice drop kick from Robbie D. These are two of the most athletic wrestlers that we have in Power Pro Wrestling. Oh, they can go. Look at this. Bradley sets him up. High in the air. He's got him. Robbie D sliding down the back there of Steve Bradley. And man, he slams him down. Looks like he jammed his neck. He slammed him so hard there. Yeah, you? man. He just kept moving him until he got him in position so he could slam him down to the mat. Now Bradley picking him up. He's strong. He slams Robbie D near the corner. Boom. Boom. Hey, look out. Here. Look in the parking lot. That's that Kurt, Kurt Angle. Angle. Kurt Angle has showed up. Off the top rope, flips Bradley. In case you're just joining us, there was a big attack on Kurt Angle last night in Blytheville, Arkansas. We showed it earlier in the kitchen of the, uh, of the concession stand, yeah. Jaron Blyville. And uh, Cornette and his guys, he and Bradley, engineered that whole thing last night. Saw a nice moonsault earlier from Bradley. Looked like he was going for the same thing, but Robbie D stops him. On the ropes, he's got him. Oh, and Bradley 
slams him down. Steve Bradley on the top rope, springs off, Robbie Whoa. D rolled toward him. Good move by Robbie. He went for that springboard and nobody home. Robbie D gets out of there. He backs him up into the ropes, he goes. Flying elbow, takes him down. What a match on the power. Oh hour. yeah, and remember, Kurt Angle has just arrived. He is going to be looking for Bradley and Cornette for putting him in that freezer last night. Oh, I'm sure he will. Look at this. Ooh, a snap neck breaker. Bradley hooks the leg. This can do it. That is a three count. Him. You're talking about stopping a rotted horse. Robbie D came in, focused Dave, put up a good fight, but he didn't win the war because Bradley hooked the leg, got to one, two, three, but man, it took him a tough time to do it. And it tells oh, you, though, that Bradley is the real deal. Here's the other real deal right here in Kurt Angle. Ooh. Belly to belly. Look at Angle. He calls the referee. Belly Kurt to Angle. belly suplex for everybody, it looks like. Belly to belly from Angle. He came in. Oh, he's going up to Robbie D. Belly to belly on Robbie Bruno. Look out, Bruno. He jumps in there and he grabs Bruno. Kurt Angle is very, very upset. He's, he's got that time. I can't blame him, Dave. These yeah. guys threw him in that freezer last night. Here comes Allen Steele. And, Other uh, people trying to tell Kurt guys. to come on. Let's get out of here, wow. Kurt. But Kurt's here and none he's of them. He's upset. <laughs> Exactly what I want to see with you. That is exactly what you've been missing, Kurt Angle. You've been missing the fire. You've been missing the determination. Don't let anybody screw with you anymore. That's what I want to see out of you. Brady, you're damn right you see him firing me. I'm an angry man. You know, I'm tired of being a nice guy. You know what nice guys get? Absolutely nothing. They get their power pro belt taken away from them. And last night, a trip to the freezer, which wasn't a very pleasant experience. Well, tonight's a different story, Steve Bradley. Tonight's my night. It's my time to shine. 30 minute, 30 minute Iron Man match. That's right. And it'll seem like three days to you, Steve Bradley, when I'm kicking your butt from one end of Bill Street to the other. Yeah! I've never seen Kurt Angle like that, Dave, ever since we've seen him. He hadn't been here long, but I've never seen him like that. He is upset, let me tell you. Marathon match tonight at the New Daisy. Back here in a moment.